Okay, this is just an informational video on those who have trouble with their trailer brake controller on their new 2022 Chevy 1500 or the alike. There's a service bulletin out addressing the issue and a lot more people are speaking up about it. I bought this truck a couple months ago. Duramax 3.0, inline 6, all that fancy goodness, but I bought it to tow my RV, huh? And right now I just got the trailer brakes plugged in and I know they work. The problem here is, is that after about one to three minutes of them plugged in and you start to roll and go down the road, they, um, this thing throws an error that says check your trailer brake wiring or whatnot and it says boom, disabled. And it'll do that right here or the driver information console, whatever the heck. So the trailer brakes are connected. Now if I utilize a squeeze switch right here, you'll see that they are outputting, but I'll get that message once in a while. If I use the squeeze switch, it says, oh, there's a problem, but never mind. It's back to normal and working. Sometimes it'll just work for a little while. You know, I can sit here and squeeze one to 50 times back and forth. And then once in a while, it'll start to flicker and it'll, it'll drop out and it'll give me a weird reading. Okay. Now that's if I squeeze, it just errors out and says, okay, fine. And it goes back to normal and they're working. However, if I utilize just the brake pedal, I'm sure y'all know how, what a brake pedal looks like. If I use the brake pedal, I got my gain set to an arbitrary five, whatever. If I pump the brakes, they're working just like the squeeze switch does. But when this time, if this thing, if the brake pedal, if me pushing the brake pedal back and forth, back and forth, after a certain amount of time, no, no specific time, just if it, if it tends to air out, the brake pedal will trigger a complete disable. Now, of course, it's not doing it in front of the camera. Oh, there it goes. So that also wigged out, but instead of like the squeeze switch resetting itself momentarily and then just continuing on, it completely disables them if the error is triggered using the brake pedal. Now, I didn't read anybody else having that same issue, so I just thought I'd throw that out there. Let me know if you have any updates on that. Chevy told me today I had no idea what the heck was going on, even though there's a service bulletin out. The person I talked to on the phone said, oh, we're not aware of that. It's like, uh-huh. All right. So, anyway, let me know if you see anything or hear anything new.